Boost gauge, check. Jack Roush signature, check. Beautiful short throw Roush shifter, check. It's gonna be a good one. How's it going everybody? My name is Dalton and welcome back to another episode of Garage 99. In today's video, we're reviewing a 2008 Ford Mustang Roush Stage 3 Black Jack Edition. This is a 435 horsepower Mustang of this generation. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I think this generation had more special edition cars than any other. And I'm okay with that because there's really cool variations. Right next to me is a Roush 427R. I'd rather have this just for the all blacked out package. I think it's menacing. I think it looks mean, it's really cool. So let's go ahead and enjoy it. Really easy car to drive, very, very light shifter, very notchy, very light clutch, very notchy, stiff shifter. Just exactly what you want to feel when you're shifting it. Uh, you do have a little bit of a bumped up hood here. Very cool. Wow, that is a very, very short, that is a very short, short shifter. Very cool. Really enjoyable. It sounds like she wants to go. Redline looks like it's like 6,000 RPM. We'll definitely see what that's like when we get up there. I'm gonna show you guys just how short this shifter is. It's like very, very small, notchy little gearbox, and it just feels incredible when you're shifting this car. Really cool. This car only has 11,000 miles, and it is available for Monocati Auto Sales. If you guys want it, go ahead and check out their website. They've always got very nice Mustangs in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Um, I honestly have had the most fun driving these cars, mostly because it is kind of the era that I was growing up, the early 2000s. I was, you know, wanting cars and starting to drive more toward that age and uh, experiencing a bunch of different cars. And this was no exception. I loved Celine and Roush and all the special edition Mustangs of those years, and I was very knowledgeable of them. To an extent, um, I know these were supercharged, and made you know mid 400 horsepower very limited numbers is like 50 or 60 of them there's and there's less than 100 of these cars very special edition car very cool you know for 30k it'll probably hold its value more than a, a newer like coyote type car very simple interior um, all of your dashboard that was once silver is now like a gloss black it's either wrapped or painted whatever it may be every single thing in here is black just as it should be no fancy colors I uh, kind of wish they did black on the steering wheel. It's still the same steering wheel it was before. Kind of makes me curious if they forgot to modify or change the steering wheel out a little bit or what. Uh, however, there is actually a boost gauge uh, in the vent and you still get air out of it. So it's still functional so you can daily drive this car. This is one of those cars that you buy from a factory with all this stuff. This isn't like an aftermarket company. Those of you who are not familiar with Roush and what they do, I'll have like a list down below right here of all the stuff besides the supercharger, the short shifter. Uh, it's lowered a little bit. It's got the bigger tires and wheels. We'll show a little bit more about that when we get our stopped. We're getting off the freeway. We're gonna turn around, have a little fun with her, and uh, that'll be it. Let's go ahead and do a couple downshifts. Put the window down for a second. It sounds mean. It sounds really mean. They did a very good job with this car. Yeah, she's throaty. She sounds really good. Brakes are incredible on this car. Very rumbly. Guys, if you're buying this car for the back seat, I'm not sure why, but here's the back seat. I always go over the, the specs of the back seat. There are two buckets. There's no middle seat. Very low headroom. I've sat in the back of this generation. It's not usable. There's no leg room. There's no headroom. You're just cramped back there. So don't buy it for the back seat. However, sitting in a dead dig, this thing does actually have a little bit of a rumble. It feels kind of nice. You've got the nice little spoiler back there. It makes you feel like you're in a special edition car, especially with the Roush charged hood scoop on the front of it. It's a very special feeling car without being obnoxious. That's what I like about the Blackjack. There's no chrome. There's no fanciness to it. It's just everything's blacked out. Uh, the supercharger underneath is very chrome though. That's uh, like a billet aluminum housing. It looks beautiful. Mustang where uh, uh, 
uh, the solid rear axle people had a lot of issues with, but they just don't know what they're doing. And we still have traction control on, you're not supposed to turn that off in these cars, for good reason. This car feels incredible though, zero body roll, it actually leans into the turn. Freaking America, does that sound good? All right, so here is your Blackjack Roush Stage 3. Yeah, she's a little dirty, but BF Goodrich G Force 275 40 18s in the back, and you've got 275 40 18s in the front, so you've got a completely square stance, good for tracks, nice handling. You can rip around turns nice and well. It's blacked out, it's 100% blacked out. You got the black Roush badges, black rims, you got the red brake calipers, the black with the red stage three on the back here you got the black flat stripe on the center and uh there's your shiny boy you got a nice roush tower bar roush supercharger roush intake you got the coolant reservoirs right here all really cool the little aluminum caps on everything kind of matches the whole flow of the car looks pretty nice honestly really simple nice all-around car and it looks mean it's it's kind of it's aged only barely but even the body kit still looks pretty mean and nice as far as it's still looking like a modern car that you can get in and be like oh yeah that's it looks like a newer car still and then you guys have seen the interior in here there's nothing special there so guys i'd like to thank you all so much for watching that's going to complete today's video and complete the review for monocati auto sales vehicle another one that's available uh if you guys watch the channel you've seen they have a ton of cars available here if this isn't available they've probably got another mustang with your name on it so if you want it check them out if you like the video like the video subscribe turn the notifications on and that's gonna do it peace out to keep trying those gears